For those of us that actually do the washing up, rubber gloves help to make the job a little more bearable. To make them, you start off with some latex rubber. Natural latex is usually white, which isn't the best color for a pair of gloves that do the dirty work, so they add an orange dye. By dipping his hand into the latex for just a few seconds, this chap has made a glove, albeit a very thin one. But he can't stand around with his hand in a vat all day, so they use ceramic hands to model the gloves instead. Latex doesn't stick properly to bare ceramic, but a dip in a salt water bath coats the surfaces and then they're ready for the latex. After a quick dip, a spin gets rid of any drips. These gloves are thick enough to move on to the next step, but right now they're delicate and easily torn. That problem will be sorted out later. But now it's time to add a little more home comfort, a cotton lining. The gloves have been made inside out, so when they're dipped into this glue, it's actually the inside that's getting coated. Now there's a good sticky surface, the gloves go to be sprayed with a fine cotton mist. This lining makes the gloves easier to put on and also gives them a more luxurious feel, making the housework just a little bit less of a chore. To strengthen the latex rubber, it needs to be baked in a furnace. This process is called vulcanization. These two strips help demonstrate the effect of the process. This one hasn't been vulcanized, and it loses its shape after being stretched. But the vulcanized strip returns to its original shape. Once they're out of the furnace, the gloves are nearly finished. But they've just been heated to 100 degrees, so they're given a cooling dip. Then the workers can simply pull them off the moulds. No need to be delicate with them, these are tough gloves. A spin in the tumble dryer and they're finished. This streamlined and efficient process allows them to make 50,000 pairs of rubber gloves every single day.